Welcome to the Gaiety School of Acting's YouTube channel. You are about to watch a scene that was taken from our 2023 production of Hamlet. We have selected a bunch of key scenes that we have broken down into bite-sized pieces with description and analysis for you to gain a better understanding of the play. I hope you enjoy and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Shakespeare resources. Let's have a look at Hamlet's first soliloquy in the play which takes place in Act 1, Scene 2, right after Claudius, the new king of Denmark, has given a speech to the court. At this point in the play, we, the audience, have just learned that one, Hamlet's father, the former king of Denmark, has recently died, and that Hamlet's mother, Queen Gertrude, has just married Claudius, the younger brother of the late king. A soliloquy occurs when an actor is alone on stage and no other character can hear what they have to say, which means that we, the audience, are about to witness Hamlet's inner thoughts and intentions. Oh, that this too, too solid flesh would melt, thaw and resolve itself into a dew or that the Everlasting had not fixed his cannon against self-slaughter. Hamlet has given up the will to exist, but decides against suicide as he sees it as a religious sin. This opens up the theme of death and questions the meaning of life. That is a theme that we will find again throughout the whole play. Oh, God, God, how weary, stale, flat, and unprofitable seem to me all the uses of this world. Fie upon it, ta, ah, fie, that it should come to this. But two months dead, nay, not so much, not two. So excellent a king, that was to this Hyperion, to a satyr so loving to my mother, that he might not bedeem the winds of heaven visit her face to ruffle. Heaven and earth, must I remember why she would hang on him, as if increase of appetite had grown by what it fed on, and yet, within a month, let me not think of it. Frailty, thy name is woman. <laughs> she married, almost wicked speed, to post with such dexterity to incestuous sheets. It is not nor it cannot come to good. You break my heart, for I must hold my tongue. This soliloquy mainly focuses on Hamlet's thoughts about Gertrude's marriage with his uncle, that is, her late husband's brother. Hamlet's words manage to influence how we, the audience, perceive Claudius and Gertrude throughout the rest of the play. So what does this soliloquy tell us about the characters in the play? Hamlet loved and admired his father and he sees Claudius as an inferior king. He is absolutely disgusted by his mother, Gertrude, marrying Claudius within a month of his father's death. And even though Hamlet knows that there will be horrible consequences to this union, he knows he has to keep his doubts to himself. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more Shakespeare resources.